All right, hopefully this auto upload's gonna gonna work. I downloaded Gary's uh, FU number two video to me and was gonna respond to it, but I didn't feel like cutting out 60% of the bullshit just to get to the most argument light bullshit. I just, it's, it's, I mean, how I'm supposed to, I can't defend taking seriously a video like that. Um, you know, he accuses, he, he he says, what good are children to a man because they're not any good for sex or sex enjoyment? It's like, Gary, your problem is that your only pleasure is sex, and that doesn't really sustain you very much past 20. Um, so, I mean, how, I'm supposed to take seriously that I'm super, super selfish creating these beings that serve no, you know, conceivable purpose. Yeah, well, they serve a purpose of if you want to be giving, someone to give to. That's not necessarily a healthy reason, but they do serve that kind of purpose. But other than that, a million things. I mean, kids keep you grounded on life and its real meaning. Um, if you have kids, you'll, you'll realize uh, sex plays a different role in your life than you thought. And uh, these are things you could figure out other ways, no doubt, you know. But uh, they, they like to play with Legos, so they, they help justify spending money on Legos that as an adult can be difficult to do otherwise. Um, they help you go to the beach because you're like, you, you, I should go to the beach every day, I live right here, why not go to the ocean every day? It's so, uh, it's just relaxing, it takes so much stress out, but I would be like, no, I don't feel like it. But then the kids look, oh, we'll go beach. And I take them to the beach and I, I go and it's good for me. A million things. Um, they help you think beyond yourself, you know, so that you don't just worry about other people in the world, but you learn about acting on caring about other people. You know, it's not good enough to say, I hope things go good. You have to do something about it. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, that's that. I, I just, it's, it's, you know, I'm not going to do it when it feels tedious having to go through a whole video and cut out all this the fuck yous and you're a child abuser bullshit, you know. Um, for a bunch of contradictions, for a bunch of people that feel that they should not be insulted and they should be respected, but they, other people should understand why they're not getting respect. Yeah, I understand you're elitist. You think you're better than other people. You can decide for women what should happen with their ovaries and their eggs, just like uh, the pro-lifers, and, and that's the matter of fact. Now, I do want to bring attention to uh, William P. Brain, who came up with uh, basically the answer to, to this, to, to their disposition, why things seem so different, why they can't imagine uh, life uh, being a bearable thing, that, that you have to be in denial. And it, it has to do with, there's been some studies, um, uh, he, I'll link to the video, he, no, I'll link to William P. Brain's video and you can get the, the link to the video he talks about there. But basically there's a study of people getting electric shocks from someone in another room. Uh, one group is told that the person doesn't know they're shocking person, they've just been told to press a button. Uh, and the, the other group is told that the person knows and is doing it, you know, knows it's shocking to people and, you know, is, is, is evidently okay with the cruelty or, or enjoying it. And, and that second group feels the pain more severely, even though the amount of shock is getting less. No, no, I'm sorry, the shock is getting, you know, regular, so the control group um, feels it as less and less because they're getting accustomed to it. You know, the group that thinks it's malevolent um, feels the pain more and more intensely or uh, you know, continuing to be quite intense. And so, um, you know, what you think about the intentions of your tormentors changes how you feel pain. So when someone like Metamorph says, you know, he, he, he talks about, we're not talking about minor things, but then he, he talks about these pinprick theory, um, you know, that any suffering, and it's like, well, yeah, because if you view the suffering as intentional and unjust, which they go to great lengths, I mean, Gary tries to act like I'm intentionally causing Gary suffering. It doesn't logically, physically make sense, but by pushing that view onto themselves, every little disturbance if your you know milk is a little bit gone a little bit too bad for your cereal i mean that's becomes an intense pain because the whole thing was unjust 
So I think that's a, a good uh, final, nothing's ever final in these conversations, it's really rather milestones, and some milestones are, let's say, more final than others. Um, I think that's a pretty basic milestone on this, and um, I'm going to talk about the subject, um, but I'm going to take on how great life is, and how uh, I, I enjoy living it, and you know, I might even go through, uh, walk you through some of my experiences, so you can see um, that I'm doing this in the face of things that were emotionally difficult, uh, as we all are. But anyway, I just want to say life is uh, really awesome. The beach here is really great. I saw some puffer fish the other day, and um, I've read some good books lately. And uh, last night I just met a, uh, a friend of a friend that's visiting from Berlin who is uh, an East German living in East Berlin. And when she was 16, the wall came down. Fascinating stuff, worth living for, to hear that kind of thing. It's just great, I just love it. Um, I wish I could be in beautiful uh, forested countryside, um, uh, New Jersey, where all the uh, elites that know what we should do with our bodies live, but I, I can't, but I still enjoy it here in Hawaii. And uh, I just want to say that, yeah, life is just fantastic, and um, uh, with all of its hardships, make it more interesting, give it a, a purpose to things to solve. Um, really, I see so many that are simple to solve, but people would just solve them. I think $12 billion a month in Iraq, uh, you could basically fix the world. Uh, the really, really horrible things about the world with that, uh, in principle, if it was just a matter of the resources, and not a matter of people's attitude, because it would take more than $12 billion a month to change how people think. Uh, but if people uh, figure out how to think, $12 billion, well, that goes quite a long way. and. Um, so yeah, life's great.